Greetings everybody, you are watching Sly Slime and this is a new tutorial series. I keep getting requests for a beginner's command block tutorial series. So this will be the first one. We're going to start with the very very basics. I'm not going to assume that you know any single thing about command blocks. I will assume that you know the very very basics of redstone however. So let's start with how you get and execute commands. So we're going to create a new world called beginner commands and we have to put it in creative mode and allow cheats has to be on so let's go into that world there are a number of settings that need to be on if you want to use command blocks so if you want to run command blocks on a server you actually have to edit the server config to allow command blocks in a normal minecraft world you can only get command blocks in creative mode so that's why you go in creative. The command blocks will keep working if you switch to spectator mode or if you switch to survival mode or adventure mode, but you have to be in creative mode to get them and you have to be in creative mode to edit them. So let's get them. If you go into the creative inventory and search for command block, you will come up blank. Command blocks are considered so powerful that you have to get them with a command. So what is a command? A command is anything you can type into your chat. You start by slash and then type in a command. And the first one we're going to do is slash give. And you're going to put your own name and then command underscore block. Now, a very simple way of doing that is to use tab completion. Now, wherever you're typing a command, so I can select GI and then hit tab and it will complete it to give. And the same thing, I can just type S, which is the first letter in my name, hit tab and it will complete it. So it's fairly smart it will fill in whatever could go in that slot and then com tab and I get the command block and it actually says minecraft colon command block it fills that in if you start typing command block it will fill in the minecraft colon part automatically it's not that important unless you start dealing with mods and we'll get into the specific situations when it's actually important there are some cases where you have to have it or things won't work but uh, normally you can sort of omit it without a problem. Anyway, we have a command block. So how do I run a command block? Well, if I place this down, I get a block in the world and I right click that and I get a command. And here is the same kind of box, but the nice tab completion that I had in my chat is no longer available. So here I have to type in a command. So I can type slash give slash time command underscore block and that would give me another command block whenever I execute this. So let's try that, I get rid of the one I have, take a block of redstone, place it next to this command block which activates it. So that's the next thing we're gonna look at. Let's clear away some space here. <sighs> Hello. The way you activate a command block is by triggering a redstone pulse into it. So I could, for instance, do like this, and you see it gives me a command block. So let's change this to another command. I could go slash say, and actually when you're dealing with command blocks you don't need the slash, so I usually leave it out. So let's do say command activated that's going to be the same thing as slash say command activated so if i do that in the chat you'll see it says i say command activated now if i pulse this uh, command block you'll see it just goes at command activated and that means it's a command block that's been activating this and it's not a player uh, this, of course, I could, I could do with a button or a tripwire or whatever. One interesting way of doing this is to make sure that the uh, redstone wire runs across uh, the top of blocks and then place command blocks next to those blocks. And then you will get uh, updates on all of the sides of them. And actually, we're going to look at one more thing before we end the episode. 
So let's say I get rid of my command blocks, so I lose them somehow because I pick up other blocks or whatever. Now I want one back. Do I have to go through the entire uh, give me a command block thing again? No, I do not. I can middle click while aiming at the command block and I get uh, the command blocks. That's the same as I middle click uh, looking at anything else in the world. Let's take that grass and I get grass. Uh, so. That's one way to get a command block, and as you remember, this command block now contains a say command that has say command activated, and maybe I want that command in my new command block. And one way would be to open this command block up, click here, press Ctrl A to select everything, Ctrl C to copy that, uh, cancel out of the command block, place another one, open that one, Ctrl V to paste that up. But there's an easier way. So I can uh, pick a new slot on my hotbar, hold Ctrl, middle click and I get the command block. So now I seem to have two command blocks. This one is command block and this one is a command block plus NBT. And if I place that one, you see that it already contains the command. And that's another useful way of getting a command block. And we'll get into exactly what NBT means in a future tutorial. So that is a quick first look at command blocks, how to get them and how to run them. This is the very foundation uh, that we will build upon in coming tutorials, so each tutorial in this series will assume that you know the things that we taught in the previous one. And they will all be numbered in, in the playlist, so you can follow along and you can start wherever you want in the series where you feel like you don't know something. I hope this was useful, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.